folks, this is all the fruit, and today I want to present you the highly toxic Bushman poison, Aquacantera oppositifolia. Funny thing is, in German it's called Bushman Schöngift, which means beautiful Bushman poison. Well, it is being used a lot as an ornamental here on the Canary Islands, it's everywhere because of its resistance to drought and salinity and city climate. In the Mediterranean I've rarely seen it, but it is present in some places. Let me show you a bigger plant. This is about as big as they get here. Five meters tall and slightly more white. And they are covered with lots and lots of white flowers and in some cases thousands of big blackish plum-shaped fruit. What is this plant? I'm going back to the more accessible smaller tree or shrub. Well, Bushman poison, the name already sounds quite dangerous and the plant is in the toxic family Apocinaceae. So a lot of caution is advised. As you can see here, the, the spiral-shaped flower is typical for the Apocinaceae. It's not as conspicuous in the Bushman poison as it is in the nearby plume area, but definitely an Apocinaceae. This is what Apocinaceae flowers look like, basically like the, like the blades of a, of a ship's uh, rotor or screw. Well, Bushman's poison. Who are the Bushman? The Bushman is a name given to the sun or Khoisan of South Africa by the European, well, invaders. The sun are a really incredible people. They were the heroes of my childhood. Like people who can run for a hundred kilometers without water, who can survive for weeks with a couple cups of water, who can read the whole novel into some scratches in the dirt left by plants and animals who can find a scorpion or a root under the sand where we don't see anything they are the most incredible warriors they are highly valued as um, soldiers and mercenaries by all armies in southern africa and of course the incredible hunters by the way they got popularized by some movies which are uh, which showed them in a little bit more comic way, but there are also a lot of serious documentations about the sun people or the bushmen, so check those out. Well, how are they hunting? Basically, those little people, not much bigger than European children, they have those bows and arrow, which look like the toys of European children, really small. They sneak up to some huge antelope or buffalo or even a mighty giraffe and yeah, and basically shoot an arrow into the animal's belly. Then usually the animal gets spooked, like if being stung by a particularly nasty bee, runs away, usually shakes off the arrow, which doesn't penetrate very deep. And then the sun, they start following the animal. And after a day or two or three, it drops dead. Why does it drop dead from a wound which is merely a scratch? Well, introducing the toxic Bushman's poison. The sap of this plant is the key ingredient in the, in the arrow or dart poison of the sun and it can bring down the biggest animal just with a little scratch. <laughs> and it's a lot more amazing that this plant is so popular as an ornamental everywhere in the canis. And look at this one, it's being pruned regularly. So somebody is basically cutting those branches regularly and yeah, letting some sap come out. Mm -hmm. Here I see what should be a little droplet of sap from the last pruning. Let's see if I can focus on it. Come on, focus on my hand. See the little droplet of sap where I'm pointing? It's kind of brownish and translucent. Well, <laughs> this 
is used to make one of the most infamous dart poisons in the world. Hmm. Well, what is even more amazing than the fact that this is being used as an ornamental is also that it's being collected from the wild and even cultivated as a fruit tree. <laughs> it gets even more amazing. It's not just being cultivated as a fruit tree, but the sap of the fruit is being used as some sort of chewing gum. Can you imagine that? The sap of the branches is being used to kill large animals, while the sap of the ripe fruit is being used as, uh, as uh, some chewing gum. The plant also has a lot of medicinal properties, but this goes beyond the scope of this channel. Uh, by the way, it seems that even the nectar is toxic, so it shouldn't be planted in areas with hummingbirds or other animals you want to preserve, because birds uh, have reportedly dropped dead just after drinking the nectar. But let's go to the fruit. It says every part except the fully ripe fruit is toxic. Here are some ripe fruit, which I unfortunately ripped off by accident. Oh, and here is a drop of the... Here is a fresh drop of the toxic milky sap. By the way, the um, sun, they, I think they boil and uh, heat and somehow mix the sap with other things uh, to make their dart poison, but there are lots of cases of poisoning from the plant without any preparation, so stay away from it. Here is a fruit with some sap that leaked out probably weeks ago. Well, it says the fruit are being used not only for gems, jellies and preserves, but also eaten out of hand. They are supposed to be sweet and bitter, and the ripe fruit seem to be the only part of the plant which is not highly toxic. Ah. Okay, drop this one. Let's take the other one. Oops, see, there is already some sap coming out from the ripe fruit. So this is supposed to be useful as chewing gum. The fruit looks quite similar to the, the related carissa. However, carissa is a very spiny plant. This one has no spines. So here, by the way, another big drop of sap. Uh, focus. Another big drop of sap here where the branch got cut off. Well, now let's go to the fruit. A lot of the sap from the fruit is dripping out. Oh, so much that they managed to dislocate a couple drops. Mm -hmm. Now I bite into the fruit. Mm. Horribly bitter. Horribly bitter. What does it look like? A black skin. A dark reddish purplish flesh with white sap underneath and a translucent seed. Flesh is very fibrous and incredibly bitter. About half an hour ago I tried the fruit from another shrub and it was just a bit bitter but also sweet. Let's try this one which is definitely ripe. Hmm. Same thing, incredibly bitter. Let's try the other plant. Only the fully ripe fruit. Okay. Let's try and find the fully ripe fruit. Uh, there are some, but they are all being punctured by insects. Ah, here. Mm. Okay, a fully ripe fruit. I hope this is fully ripe. Still very bitter. Well, folks, as I said, I tried another fruit from another print earlier where the bitterness was more mild and mixed with some sweetness. There are African peoples who don't mind bitterness in their food so much. I guess maybe this is more to their taste or maybe if you make jabs or preserves from it, it will be a bit more mild. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, well, no, 
definitely not a good fruit tree for me. What a pity. It's such a common ornamental everywhere around here. But first, very dangerous and toxic, and second, very bitter. No, those are two good reasons to stay away from the Bushman's poison. So, folks, this was the Bushman's poison, Acocantera oppositifolia. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens of Tenerife. Stay away from toxic plants, especially with names like Bushman's Poison. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.